Welcome back everybody. This is the Vintage Sewing Machine Garage. You are looking at the debut of a Sears Kenmore 158.15160 1970 This machine, like many machines uh, that I've gone through, uh, it had its own issues. Uh, one of the issues it had, of course, like most machines, it was very stiff because it sat for 30 years. The old oil had gummed up, but that wasn't its biggest issue. And i shown in the other videos, it had all of this caught in an upper mechanism. Very unusual. Usually, if you're going to have thread jams, again, you have them down below in the bobbin in the shuttle area or over here near the hand wheel. So, got every, everything taken care of, was excited, and was testing the bobbin winder. Well, the bobbin winder works beautifully now, but it didn't. And I thought, okay, now what's wrong? This is the bobbin winder tire that I took out. Now, I've shown all of you tires before, and I've always said, you know, check them, make sure they're not dry rotted. Uh, and this one has no cracks, no, not even hairline cracks. It was not dry rotted, but when this machine got stored 30 years ago, the, uh, the mechanism that you normally use to engage the bobbin winder was not turned off. It was pushed in. And what that means is that tire was pushed against the hand wheel for 30 years. And I don't know if you folks can see this, but it has a flat spot. Um, it almost looks perfectly round. Uh, and I don't know that I can replicate, you know, spinning it, but it is, it is uh, distorted. That one little distortion threw off the entire bobbin winding and I kept getting all kinds of this is me I've run ravel this thread I had a bobbin it looked horrible and you you wouldn't want to use it because the bobbin was fine but the thread was all it was all ratty and it wasn't it wasn't winding properly don't ignore your bobbin winders because they can give you a bad day uh, now I often tell people maybe you want to uh, use a separate bobbin winder um, just for speed but this bobbin winder she now looks works beautifully uh, with I happen to have one of these large Kenmore tires I'd had it for a while and I put it in and sure enough it solved the problem um, also be careful about putting too much oil in the bobbin winder mechanism or you'll get uh, oil on your tire and you'll have to clean that off so let's get in a quick sew uh, test sewing. I've been doing a bunch of test stitching here on the machine, but I'll zoom in and let you see how it sews. This is, of course, I have it currently set up for a long straight stitch. And she backs tacked beautifully. When I first got the machine, it wouldn't back tack because the back tack lever was just stuck. Um, then we'll come over here and make ourselves a new row and of course it does a wonderful zigzag great stitching as i expect from a kenmore vintage kenmore uh, and well, let's come up back over a little bit more i want a bit a little bit more room here got it on the long stitch and then well this is kind of a uh, medium heavyweight fabric. It says Sweden on it. I think it may have come from Ikea somewhere. I don't know. Okay, pull your needle up because remember there's no computer and we're going to come over, turn it all the way to wide zigzag and I'll just bring it straight down. Not sure if this fabric has a coating on it or not. I, I don't believe so. I think it's just very stiff. I think it has some sort of textile finish on it. Now, Take a look, and I'm leaving the fabric in here because the owner is going to be picking up and I want them to be able to do their own test stitching on it before they pay for the service. So, look at these stitches. They are wonderful. They're consistent. Um, you've got this uh, sort of blue thread underneath. Um, heavyweight fabric. I've got a size 14 needle in here. But, uh, Again, even with a machine that I love to restore, vintage Kenmores, vintage whites from the 60s and the Kenmores from the 60s, wonderful machines. I mean, I just consistently find them to be very forgiving in spite of the abuse or the neglect that they ex uh, experience over the years. Uh, but even with a Sears, you can sometimes have weird stuff. So if you have overhauled your bobbin winder 
and it's still not working, always check the tire. Remember, you have two tires, or excuse me, a bobbin winder ring. Uh, you have one, I'm sorry. But this one, of course, you don't see it like on some of the older machines because it's hidden underneath the lid. I appreciate all of you watching. Thank you for following along with the story of this Kenmore that was asleep for a long time. But I'll be getting ready to call the owner and have them to come and pick up their uh, newly, um, uh, a new life for this Kenmore. And I think hopefully we'll, uh, we'll see a lot more uh, years of service out of it. Thanks for watching, everyone.